every day has got to be different. Every day is different. I don't want to miss a day because something's different. Comes back. Um, I love, I really miss my university because every day I learn something new. So when I heard a student said that, I said, I've got to up my game. There's got to be something, not one thing being brought in. I've got to bring in books. I've got to have lots of things brought in. I've got to bring in actual, well, realia. But I think it's so funny is when someone brings in one object and expects everybody in the room, this is what we're building everything around. Yeah, this today one object. it's all about oh, oranges. <laughs> we have skin, we have peels. We have... Li listen to this. Oh, anyway. And um, we seem to forget when, while focusing on, ooh, we have to connect with students. Um, we, we're so into that, or we want to find this wonderful website using our smart board technology that connects to the internet. This could be a good ESL. Just how things are built. How things are, I love it. I love how things are built. These are things that I, you know, transcribe. It's on, I mean, piracy is a laudable goal. It's the highest form of flattery. <laughs> Imitation, right? Thievery, thievery, right? right. <laughs> Imitation, right? Um, because wh where do you go from here? I, how do you make a book whose structure is not sequential? It it, it comes up with that that um, what do you select your adventure kind yeah, of thing. Seizure. That's essentially what you're doing because it's like if you find you want to work with. Um, uh, uh, Social media from now on, boom, here are the activities. If you're, you know, preparing some um, people who have come can over start from our, France. Can we start the book in the middle? Oh, wouldn't that be funny? Why that would, because that's where it folds open, right? Yes. And then you either go this way or that way. Yes. You at least got two ways to go. So it would be, what a concept. See, it, 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 you'd force it because maybe there was a rubber band or something. Yes. That you, you know, just, why is this rubber band here? And then it would just, or, or there's this uh, piece of uh, paper, you know, like a, a how many, toilet. How many, how, many papers, how many papers would it be? I mean, it's like it'd be 100 pages, it's right? It's 128 pages. I think that's the typical. You know, they, they do it in formats of uh, 16. Is, if folios are in 16. Yeah. So why couldn't we do it? Why couldn't we do it in the middle? Or 32. Yeah, right, right. Why couldn't we do it in the middle and open out? Or, and have, what would facilitate it would be if they do it the um, European way. <laughs> Never seen those books that, it, it was such a cheap production that you had to use a knife and cut when you opened the book. Okay. Because it, it was literally just printed on one big sheet, folded and bound. They didn't take the, it, it, it cost more to trim the edges to release. Oh. So if you go to some of these older um, format books, um, they, they were bound without any of the trimming because that, that cut the cost. You, you, it, it, it's a pretty exact science to be able to trim something nicely. So. Um, it would be funny to go back to that technology and say the reason why we're doing it is that it forces you to make your choice. <laughs> it's a little messy. I don't know if you ever read one of those books. No, I didn't. But um, uh, I, I was into pendulums when I was 18. And so, uh, all right, 21. And we were translating a book, and the book was available in France, but I had to buy it in this printed form. It was like, this is an original book, it's like a 50-year-old book. And here I was slicing it open. It just felt terrible that I was doing this, but that's how you read the book. Because they, I guess it's an extra step in the, the production. Okay. So the advantage to this, you're saying, is that you could now either go towards grammar in one direction or towards function in another, or I mean, that's artificial. I'm just imposing that. Um, that's true. I'm just saying that we can, then it doesn't have to be sequential so much. Oh, yeah. You're breaking it from the very beginning. Right. Because you said you want something non sequential. 
And in a sense, isn't that what photocopies are all about? Because you as a teacher can decide. What I love is what if you had a workstation and you told the students there are, um, all right, limit their choices. There are 10 activities we're going to be doing over the next two weeks. You just have to choose four of them. And some students will, you know, take one of each. Because they say, oh, I want a copy of every one. Because they're that, that kind of personality. There's others that say, none of them are interesting to me. Great. Um, what is interesting? To roller coasters. Okay, that's your project then. You've got to do the... Find out all, you, you know how to describe a roller coaster and all the moves in German. Now I want you to do it all in English. Um, and then explain something. Yes, I think this would be good. <laughs> or, he, didn't, he, he would never, uh, th th this particular guy I was thinking about is pretty morose. He just did not want to be there. But this would be adequate. <laughs> I will not at least be bored. Swiss. And um, the, I, I, it's, it's almost like a gimmick like that is worth it just to be able to say, um, you know, I, I, we could, if, if you had a normal book, I guess the first page would be, um, you know how they can color, so mm -hmm. you know, um, mm -hmm. I, I think it's a bleed that mm -hmm. when you're looking on the side, you see that all oh, that many of them are black right. on the edge. So you go down to where it's not black. But it, it may just be, you know, turn to page um, 68. Okay, so go to 68. And that's where this book starts. Ha! You know. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, you have a little fun like, uh, um, we said page 68. Um, could you please turn? Um, how, how many times do we have to tell you? This is not the start of the book. You know? <laughs> Little comment on the top of each page. <laughs> or could you just do? Could you do the middle? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you, your your book is white. Right. right. I don't know how much it costs. The middle is color. Mm -hmm. A color. All right. It has. This is the end of your book. And you just have. Random page numbers. Oh my God! But that'll be the, we could have two different editions. This would absolutely drive the sequential person nuts. Whereas, if you're a random teacher, mm -hmm. you would have the random book because you're basically saying, "Hi, guess what?" Uh, and and the story would be, what did zookeepers do to uh, food for bears, polar bears? They found out that if you just give the food to bears, they, they get very bored and listless. Mm. Because now that they've eaten, they've got to kill the next 11 hours of their day. So they used to put a foot of ice around each fish and leave them out there. And Enrichment. most bears will not wait until the ice is... Enrichment. Right. Right. And... It's totally random. You know, you got to chase where where it's going. I used to throw live mice into enclosures, and I used to get in trouble for my. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, because I was like, these guys, they sit around all day. They want to chase something. That's right. It's like we're going to kill them anyway. <laughs> yeah, I got in a lot of trouble. Well, um, adrenaline is important for creating certain kinds of memories. I saw that on a. Uh, one of these 60 minute programs. Fascinating. So I decided to experiment with this. It was at TLA, mm -hmm. the old, old spot. So I brought in one of these um, wooden snakes and I showed it to the, you know, the class. I said, look, these are wooden snakes, right? Wooden snakes. And then I took it and I said, I want everyone to remember, you know, the three conditionals. So I did the three conditionals and then I moved the snake. Two of the girls leapt up, ran screaming out of the room, and of course, Georgine's office was right on the other side. Within three minutes, you know, Georgine was around saying, What's going on? And, you know, by then I'd, I'd hidden the snakes, you know, I don't know what is going on. <laughs> 
But um, it, it's fascinating, and those two students, um, again, Swiss, but had, from that point on, they, they, they were very engaged. So they will always, when they left, just said, we will always remember the snakes. And they'll always know the conditionals because... <laughs> well, see, this is what I'm not sure really happened. They remember the snakes. Did they remember the, the different ways of using conditional? I don't think so. So the, the, this is called a um, uh, use of research in an inappropriate way. <laughs> um, the, the, I, what I hear, you're, you're, you're brainstorming towards something where... A structure can be available that communicates that the teacher and the class can discuss side what comes next. Well, no, it's not necessarily linear. Which is not, I mean, right. So no, that's the point. Okay, it's but, not linear. But we, we, would, we take a linear book. Right. And then we just reshuffle the pages. Mm -hmm. So we'd make them look for, you open it up. Right. Okay, so here it goes. And then you have to search for page two. Or exercise two, because what we're teaching them is not sequential learning. Right. We're teaching them how to. So you look for page two, and they're like, "Oh, that's what I thought it was, but this is not lesson two. This is actually lesson eight. I want to do this one instead." Mm. You know. And they're always they're not going one, two, three, four, so they don't look at it that way. And are there some students that? Insist that there be one, two, three, four. Because I've bumped into those students. It's then like, they can find. They, then they can find one, two, three, four within it. Because um, you can find it. You can find it, right? And they may be. Just, I, I did not realize that this was going to be a data reconstruction. I thought I was learning English here. So you know, it's almost like you have a second format for that person. You mean like a second book that's actually sequential? Yeah. Right. But so why couldn't you just have them what, go what, through the book and find it? I mean, why is it bad for a why is it bad for a sequential learner at one period of their life have to do something non-sequential when